Hi, it's Kathy here, and today I'm just gonna walk you through how to use the Ready to Print app. Um, this is an app that we typically use to practice pre-writing lines. So we're gonna have kids writing, tracing and drawing um, horizontal, vertical lines in different shapes like a circle or a cross. Um, there are a lot of different activities that they can do within the app, so feel free to play around once you get in there. Um, but I wanna walk you through just a few of the things that we typically do in the classroom um, with your child. As always, if you have any questions, if you need any guidance or some low-tech options, just reach out to our occupational therapist, Dana, or the occupational therapy assistant that works in your child's classroom. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to screen share so you can just see what this app's gonna look like on your device. Okay, select the Ready to Print app. It'll bring you to the home screen. Paths is the area that we use to do all of our lines. So that's where we're gonna see the vertical lines and the horizontal lines. And I'll just get started showing you how it works. The key is to just stay within that boundary and trace from one item to the next. Um, they can go outside of the boundary. It won't stop reading um, what they're tracing, but when it goes to accuracy, they won't get credit for that. If they stop tracing for some reason, they'll need to go back to that green circle and pick up where they left off for it to continue writing. Um, you know, just the same for the vertical lines. Um, they're gonna get credit towards accuracy for everything that stays within that boundary. There's so many different line options. Um, another one that I do like is the diagonal line. It gets them crossing midline um, and a lot of diagonal lines within letters that they may be writing. Um, when you think A or V or Z, um, a lot of zigzags, di uh, not zigzags, sorry, diagonals. Um, another thing that we do is the shapes and that's where we're gonna practice the cross and the circle. So for the cross, it's just down and then across. So just like the letter T, lowercase t, they just go down and across. Um, and then the circle is really good um, for the kids that are working on it. You just wanna go around and stay within that boundary. But a lot of the kids do trace a little bit smaller um, and go outside of the lines or they'll trace really big and go outside of the outside of the lines. Again, that just won't give them credit towards their accuracy, but it'll still read it so you can see how they're doing. Um, and the goal is to stay in those boundaries. Um, kids that are past tracing and they're just imitating the line, we kind of do a my turn, then your turn. So we'll draw a line, um, and that's the one you're seeing in blue, and then you'll just hand it to them and say draw a line, and they would imitate the line by drawing what they see. Um, we use that for not only lines, but for the shapes that we are practicing as well, like the cross and the circle. And you can always screenshot what they've done so that we can see what work that they're completing so we can see how they're doing with their shapes. This app also has the letters and numbers, which is nice because you get the opportunity to first trace the letter and then go ahead and write it yourself. So that gives them the practice of tracing with that, getting that mortar pattern, but then the opportunity to write it themselves. Some other things that are on here, um, just touching. So just so that they get their accuracy of where they're touching on the screen, um, this is a nice app, part of the app just to get them touching in the right place. We also have the pinching, which is great because if you're zooming in or zooming out and you wanna pinch things together or pull them apart, um, this is getting those fingers working together because you can't do it one at a time. You've gotta pull both items and get them together. Um, again, so you can't just kind of like move one towards the other. Um, you've got to move them both at the same time in order for it to work. So that's how that works. Um, another thing is touch and drag and a lot of swiping that we do on the screen to scroll through things. We've got to swipe in different directions. So this drag and drop kind of works um, to work on just you know swiping in different directions so they can drag an item down drag it across um, there's different directions so it's going to give you all the options um, and you just drag the items over and where they're supposed to be it's good practice okay we can move on from there another thing that we have is matching which is great for kids that are just working on matching different shapes or just again works on that dragging and it gets them looking at what they're doing um, 
so they can just drag the shape down to the outline at the bottom just to show that they're kind of looking visual motor focusing on which shape they should be touching and then moving it down to the other shape where it should be um, and that's pretty much it